Hi, I am Dr. Aditi Tandon, obstetrician and gynecologist practicing in Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. I am also a laparoscopic surgeon, an IVF consultant and a cosmetic gynecologist. PCOS is a hormonal and metabolic condition that affects women of childbearing age 15 to 44 years. Predominantly what occurs is there is increase in the male hormone which is the androgens most commonly testosterone which leads to all the problems in PCOS. There is a disruption in the normal hormonal cyclical changes that occur in a normal woman that menstruates regularly. There is basically an ovulation that is the ovary is not able to release one egg per cycle. So there is chronic anovulation. PCOS is a consequence of chronic anovulation. This leads to irregular cycles. PCOS affects 5-10% to of women in the childbearing age. It can be diagnosed anywhere in, for women in their 20s or anytime after puberty. It is a genetic condition that means if your mother or your sister has it, you may have an increased risk of developing it. Your risk also increases if you are overweight. Let's see how a normal girl menstruates, one who is not PCOS and one who is ovulating. What happens is, from the pituitary, a hormone called as FSH is released this FSH stimulates the ovary to form one follicle which has an egg. Every month, one follicle is selected. This follicle grows to about 18 to 20 mm. When this follicle is mature, that is 18 to 20 mm, LH is released from the pituitary and this causes ovulation. If after ovulation, the egg meets the sperm, a pregnancy occurs. The dominant follicle then turns into a corpus luteum which secretes progesterone which makes the lining of the uterus that is the endometrium more thicker and secretory in nature and preparing it for the pregnancy. If the sperm does not meet an egg that is if pregnancy does not occur then there is a fall in the estrogen and progesterone which causes a withdrawal and this leads to menstruation which is shedding of the endometrium. This happens every month, every cycle from the time of menarche to menopause releasing one egg per month. In PCOS because of the hormonal imbalance ovulation does not occur every month. The FSH is unable to select one dominant follicle so many follicles grow and this leads to the typical appearance of multiple fluid filled cysts in the ovary leading to an increase in the size and volume of the ovary and its typical polycystic appearance. The LH also is high in these women which leads to an increase in the androgens that is the male hormone which leads to problems of acne, excessive hair fall and excessive facial and body hair. Also because there is no regular cyclical changes of estrogen and progesterone, menstruation does not occur regularly. Irregular periods, acne, hirsutism which is excessive facial or body hair, infertility, inability to conceive, male pattern balding, thinning of hair on the scalp, excessive weight gain, difficulty to lose weight, because there is associated insulin resistance, they can have gestational diabetes, type 2 diabetes in the future. They can also have an increased risk of ischemic heart disease, cardiovascular disease, hypertension and dyslipidemia which is high cholesterol. There is also abnormal uterine bleeding because these women do not menstruate regularly there is an increased unchecked growth of the endometrium 
which causes it to grow thicker unchecked causing endometrial hyperplasia this also has an increased risk of endometrial carcinoma these women also have an increased risk of depression anxiety and eating disorders because of obesity they also may have associated sleep apnea if you have any of the earlier mentioned symptoms you must visit your gynecologist they will perform certain blood tests to check the androgens in your blood that that is the male hormone also certain hormonal tests are done like prolactin and thyroid which may also cause irregular periods fsh and lh ratios are performed and an ultrasound is performed to check the appearance of ovaries polycystic ovaries typically have increased cysts at the periphery their volume is large and there is stromal hyperplasia also to check for any insulin resistance there are tests that are performed which are the blood sugars the glucose tolerance the fasting insulin levels and glycosylated hemoglobin the amh which is the anti mullerian hormone is another test which detects the ovarian reserve of a woman and it has been a biomarker in detecting pcos amh is increased in these women pcos is seen in obese women and in lean women pcos in obese women is managed by mainly lifestyle modification that is a healthy diet and a regular exercise schedule minor changes in the diet like decreasing your caloric intake reducing your overall carbohydrate intake a high protein diet maybe certain diets like the keto or intermittent fasting to reduce the weight over a short period of time and then regularly having a normal healthy diet is extremely important a good exercise routine which is regular is very important which includes hiit high intensity interval training and a lot of cardio and fat burning exercises also metformin is a drug which is an insulin sensitizer which can be added if there is associated insulin resistance in these women however metformin does not replace the lifestyle modification healthy diet and exercise other insulin sensitizers like myoinositol anti chiroinositol which are antioxidants can also be used the acne the excessive facial hair which is hirsutism and the scalp hair thinning may need additional advice from a dermatologist however oral contraceptives and antiandrogens are the mainstay of treatment if for irregular periods you may need oral contraceptives if you do not wish to conceive if you wish to conceive you can take cyclical progesterone every 4 to 6 weeks to get your periods regularly for women that have inability to conceive there are certain treatments that can be offered weight loss even 5% of weight loss can induce ovulation in these women so always begin with weight loss and lifestyle modification additionally oral ovulogens drugs like letrozole additionally adding gonadotropins can help induce ovulation in these women and these can be performed with either timed intercourse or an intrauterine insemination to increase the chances of pregnancy if iui does not work these women can be offered in vitro fertilization at our center we perform ivf cycles using the freeze all technique for pcos women that is we give the trigger using an agonist and freeze all the embryos which prevents almost by 100% chances of ohss in women who have pcos if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them if you found this video useful please like share and subscribe to us and follow us for more
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग